With the graduate students, it's always amazing because they come into the program and they're in one type of water and when they leave, they've stepped into something entirely different. We're all sort of involved in making the art program come alive and change and transform as the time changes and as technology changes. Students are moving not just in the direction of painting, which Waterloo was really strong for and really known for. They're starting to incorporate different technologies in their work. I think what really drew me to the, to the department first was its size, that it was very small and very intimate. And in my experience, I know that smaller departments, you just have more, more access to the resources, to the, to the faculty, and also the sense of community that you're able to, to build. The faculty all come from a very different standpoint in terms of their approach and their own practices. They help with the research aspects, they help with developing the work, they'll be a part of uh, seeing my thesis show come together. Throughout the term we have visiting artists come in where they bring professionals in the field whether they're writers or historians or actually practicing artists come in and do lectures and then as graduates we get to meet with them one-on-one -on -one in our spaces and talk about our work and our concepts. So what this allows um, us to do is actually have experience, real experience in the classroom. The Keith and Winshawn Summer Internship Program is a distinguishing feature uh, of, of our MFA program. Uh, it gives second year students an opportunity to work alongside artists, an artist of, of, of their choosing anywhere in the world for a period of six weeks. It's really a dream opportunity in that you get to uh, compile a list of basically dream artists that you'd like to work with, the department contacts these artists for you and there's no limit on where in the world you can go or who you can work with. There's opportunities to go to Berlin, there's so many residencies that the grad students could apply for. Um, another perk of uh, doing your MFA at Waterloo is that your thesis show gets to be held at uh, the University of Waterloo Art Gallery and the curator there, Ivan, works with us as if we were any other artist. We're standing here in this newly renovated uh, gallery. This is the vision of our new curator, Ivan Jurakic. This can, in fact, be the first significant professional show that a young artist can have. So why shouldn't we celebrate this? And so the th when, when the thesis exhibition takes place within the department, you have a really dynamic thing happening where undergraduates, other members of the university community, both staff and faculty and students, can all come and enjoy some of the exciting things, the advanced kind of work uh, that, that our graduate students are doing. Instead of treating the MFA thesis shows as a completely separate entity, to fold those exhibitions into the gallery program, so they became part of our, our broader context of what we do. The MFA program is really an opportunity to, to push the boundaries and, and try new things, try experiments. 